Hello, and welcome to a new Wassinger video. Today, you're going to learn how to create an AI-powered WhatsApp bot that can process text, audio, and images, all with the help of N8N. Let's get started. First, from your N8N account, go to Settings, then click on Community Nodes. Once the Community Nodes view opens, we're going to add the Wassinger app. In our case, we already have it installed, but you just need to click Install and then add the Wassinger app, N8N-Nodes-Wassinger. Accept the terms and click Install. Now, we'll go back to the main view and create a new workflow for our WhatsApp chatbot. Once it's created, we'll add our first step, or node, as you like to call it. Search for the Wassinger app we just installed and select the trigger called On New Message Inbound Received. A new window will pop up and we'll need to configure the credentials so that N8N can communicate with Wassinger. To do this, we'll first create a free account on Wassinger. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Once your account is set up, go to the Developers section, click on API Keys, and copy your API key. Then, head back to N8N and paste it in. Save, and your Wassinger credentials are now ready to use. Next, we'll create a webhook. This webhook will notify our N8N chatbot every time a new message is received from a customer on WhatsApp. Go to Webhooks and click on Create New Webhook. Add a name and copy the link shown under the Webhook URL section from N8N. Make sure the event message colon in colon new is enabled. You can leave the rest of the events disabled as we won't need them for this use case. Save it. And now your webhook is ready to send incoming messages to your chatbot. Next, click on Test Step to check if the messages are reaching the workflow correctly. As you can see, all the information came through just fine, and this is what we'll use to build the rest of our awesome bot's functionality. Now we'll add a new step called Switch. This node will help us determine what type of message we received on WhatsApp, whether it's a text, audio, or image message. We'll start by adding the text message option. To do this, go to the routing rules section and click on expression to add the condition we want to use when a message is of type text. You'll find all the expressions used in this tutorial in the video description to make things easier. In this case, we'll write json.data.type then select is equal to and type text. If you prefer, you can also browse the data tree and drag the relevant field. It will automatically convert into an expression. Next, we'll add the image route. Click Add Routing Rule, then click Expression and enter the following. JSON.data.media.type is equal to and type image. Finally, we'll add the audio option, which is almost identical to the image one. Just change the final value to audio instead. Now, let's move the text route to the last position to keep our workflow cleaner, since text is usually the simplest fallback option. Now it's time to add our AI agent, which will help us generate automatic replies using OpenAI. To do this, click on the last node and search for Advanced AI and AI Agent. Once the configuration window opens, we'll set up the AI agent as follows. In the section labeled Source for Prompt User Message, select Define below. Then, in the input field below, select Expression again and type $json.data.body. Next, we'll add some extra information to the agent to make the user experience more personalized. Click on Add option and choose System Message. Once selected, paste the following text, which you'll also find in the description of this video. Now we'll add our chat model, which you can find by searching for OpenAI chat model in the list you will see. Once it opens, you'll need to add your OpenAI account credentials. If you don't have an account yet, we've included a link in the description so you can sign up at OpenAI. After creating your account, go to platform.openai.com slash API keys and generate a new API key. Give it a name, choose the project you want, and then go back to your N8N workflow and paste the API key. That's it, super easy. Let's go back to the main view and click on Memory. Here, we'll select Simple Memory. In the Session ID section, choose Define below, and in the Key field, click on Expression again and type. Dollar open parenthesis. Switch close parenthesis. 
This refers to the switch step we added earlier to route the different types of inbound messages. Now, change the context window length to 20, so the AI can retain more of the conversation context. Exit the memory node, and now the exciting part begins, where we're going to create the steps to process both audio and image messages. Let's start with audio messages. First, we need to download the audio file sent by the customer through WhatsApp. To do this, we'll create a new step. Click on the first node, search for Wassinger, and then select Chat Files and Download File. Once the node opens, you'll need to use the credentials we already set up in previous steps, and add the WhatsApp number you've connected to Wassinger. You can find and manage this number directly in the Wassinger app. The link is in the description of this video. To add the number, click on Expression and enter json.device.id. Then, in the File ID field, enter json.data.media.id. Now, go back to the main view and let's do a quick test with a real audio message. Click on Test, then Record and send a voice message from another number to the one you've connected in Wassinger. Once that's done, go back into the Wassinger node and you'll see a data tree that contains your audio file. Now that we have the audio, we're going to make an API call to download it as a file. To do this, add a new step and search for HTTP request. Inside the node, choose get as the method and paste the download URL we've added in the video description. You can also find this URL in the data tree returned by NAN. Next, we need to set up the authentication for this HTTP request. Click on generic credential type, choose header auth, and use the same API key we've already added to authenticate the connection between N8N and Wassinger. Finally, click on Test Step, and you should see the audio file downloaded successfully. Now that we have the audio available, we're going to transcribe it using an open AI tool. To do this, go back to the main view and create a new step. Click on Advanced AI, then select Open AI. Now, search for the option that says Transcribe a Recording. We'll use the same OpenAI credentials we've been using so far. In the Resource section, leave it as Audio. For Operation, choose Transcribe Recording. In the Input Data field name, we'll leave it as Data, since that's the information coming from the previous step. Click on Test Step and you'll see that the audio has been converted into text. Once we've confirmed it's working correctly, go back to the main view and add a new step called Set. This will allow us to properly adjust the input data so our AI agent receives it in the expected format, that is, within a structure like data.body. In the Mode section, select Manual Mapping, and then define the name we mentioned earlier so the data is sent correctly, in this case, data.body. Next, make sure the data type is set to String. And in the last field, add json.text. Click on Test Step to check that the information has been set correctly. Now, go back to the main view and connect this node to the AI agent. We enter the AI agent node and check that the information it expects to receive matches the data generated in our previous step. Once confirmed, we go back to the main view and begin creating the image analysis process, which is very similar to the audio process. So we'll go over it quickly. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and we'll help you out. Now we create the same Wassinger node to download files. Select Chat Files and then Download File. We'll use the same Wassinger credentials as before and set the connected WhatsApp number by typing json.device.id. In the file ID field, enter json.data.media.id. Once that's done, go back to the main view and click on Test Workflow. Send an image from another WhatsApp number to the one connected to Wassinger. This will allow us to configure everything properly, since previously we sent an audio file, which won't work for this step. Now that we've tested sending an image message, we'll create a step to download the file, just like we did earlier with audio. Search for HTTP request and configure it. Set the method to get. The URL will be the same one we used for the audio download. 
Once you've completed the first part of the workflow, the rest becomes much easier since the process is very similar. Next, configure the authentication, and finally run a test to check that the image was downloaded successfully. Once we have the image, go back to the main view and add a new step for image analysis, also supported by OpenAI. In this case, we'll add a step and search for OpenAI, Analyze Image. Inside the node, we'll use the same OpenAI credentials as before. For resource, leave image as the default. And for operation, select Analyze Image. In the model section, choose GPT-4 Vision Preview or ChatGPT-04 Latest depending on availability, and enter the instruction you want OpenAI to perform. In this case, we'll type, analyze the image. Next, for input type, select binary file. We will leave the input data file name as data and run a test to verify that the image has been analyzed correctly. Once we have the correct output, we will return to the general view of our workflow and add one final step to send the result of the image analysis to our AI agent. We look for the set module and configure it to properly pass the data to our AI agent. In the name, we enter data.body. The value should be a string, and for the content, we write the following text, which you can find in the description of this video. Once finished, we connect our module to the AI agent, and we now have all three scenarios set up to receive text, images, and audio. Our bot is almost fully configured. Now, we need to create the possible responses that our bot will send via WhatsApp, depending on whether the user wants to send an audio or simply text. We add a new route module called IF. This will allow us to route our responses between audio and text based on the message we receive. To configure it, in value one, we enter the following text, switch.item.json.data.media.type, which you can find in the description of this video. We select is equal to, and in value two, we write audio. Now click on the true node and search for the OpenAI tool to generate audio. As usual, we'll use the OpenAI credentials we've used throughout this tutorial. For resource, we select audio, and for operation, choose generate audio. For the model, select TTS1, and in the text input, enter aiagent.item.json.output. You can copy this text from the video description. Now, select the voice you like the most, and that's it. Exit to the general view, and let's add a very important step. Since WhatsApp only accepts a specific audio file format, we need to convert the AI-generated audio to the audio forward slash MPEG format. To do this, we add a new step and search for code, click it, and paste the JavaScript code found in the description of this video to convert your audio to the correct format. Once the code is entered, you can test if it works correctly. Great! Now we have our audio converted to a format WhatsApp accepts. Next, in order to send multimedia messages, such as audio files through Wassinger, it's necessary to provide a URL of the file, since Wassinger operates as an API and does not support sending attachments directly. But don't worry, what we'll do is upload the generated audio to the cloud, and from there we'll be able to get a valid URL. In our case, we'll use Google Drive, but you can use other platforms as well. We add a new module and search for Google Drive. Within it, we select Upload File. Once the Google Drive module opens, we'll need to connect our Google account with N8N. To do this, we've included a link to a video that explains the process in detail. And it only takes five minutes. It's very simple. Once we've connected our Google account, we'll leave Resource as File, Operation as Upload, and Input Data. Field Name as Data. In the File Name field, we'll drag the file name element from the data tree into the input, which will autocomplete automatically. Next, in the parent drive field, we'll leave my drive selected, and in parent folder, we'll select a folder we've specifically created in our Google Drive to store audio files. To do this, go to your Google Drive, whether personal or business, and create a new folder. Give it a name that's easy to identify in N8N, 
and click Create. Then go to the folder you just created and open it. Once inside, open the Folder Options dropdown and select Share, and Share again. A window will open, go to General Access, click where it says Restricted, and change it to anyone with the link. Finally, click Done, and your folder is ready. Now, go back to N8N and select the folder you just created. Test that everything is working by clicking Test Step, and you should see that the audio file has just been uploaded to your drive. Next, return to the general view of your workflow and proceed to create the Wassinger module that allows you to send the audio via WhatsApp. Search for Wassinger and select Send a Multimedia Message. Once it opens, use the same credentials as in previous modules. Also, select the WhatsApp number connected to Wassinger that you'll be sending the audio from. Then select the number the message is going to, the one that sent you the audio. To do this, click on Expression and enter switch.item.json.data.from number. This is also available in the description of this video. Now, to send the audio, locate the data input from Google Drive and drag the element named Web Content Link into the Media URL field. Click Test Step and check that it works correctly. Once completed, the message will be sent to the recipient via WhatsApp. Finally, we'll delete our file from Google Drive so we don't store too many files in the cloud and run out of storage. This step is optional. If you want to keep all generated audio files, that's totally fine, but you should add a variable to name the audio files uniquely to avoid errors. Select Google Drive, then choose Delete File. In the File section, select By ID, then find the ID from the input data provided by Google Drive. Test it and confirm that the file has been deleted from your Google Drive. Last but not least, we'll add the other path from our IF module. In the case where the incoming message is not an audio, our bot will respond with text. So, we'll add a new Wassinger module and search for Send a Text Message. Again, we'll select our Wassinger number and the number the message is going to. We'll enter Wassinger Trigger dot item dot json dot data dot form number. And in the message field, we'll enter json dot output. This contains the text response, either to a received image or as a regular message reply to an incoming WhatsApp message from the client. We run the test, and as we can see, the bot responded correctly. Wow! You've just learned how to set up the WhatsApp Agent Pro workflow using N8N and Wassinger, transforming your WhatsApp into a smart AI-powered assistant. Imagine the possibilities. If this tutorial helped you, why not share the love? Spread the word by sharing this video with your network. Let's help more people discover the magic of WhatsApp automation with Wassinger. Together, we can revolutionize the way businesses connect with their customers. If you want to learn more, visit our website, wassinger.com. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.